Hi, and welcome to Aussie Kicks. On today's show, we're checking out a brand new kit under 58703. It's this, the Tom's GT Supra. Look at it. Absolutely stunning. Tamiya, I think you've knocked this one out of the park. Yes, I know it's on a TTO2, but don't let that put you off. Stay tuned. I've got a great idea. Hit it, Charlie. Oh, yeah. Minasan, konnichiwa. Here's Sasha. Uh, so today I will explain you how the Super GT car works. Now currently you can get this in the UK for £148. Now it's not the entry level TTO2 as it comes with a torque tune motor and you get an ESC thrown in. I have seen TTO2 basic kits with a body at around £99 so that's what you're paying for as well as it's just come out. The body is quite a highly detailed one and the car it is actually designed to represent was produced for 2019 to meet the DTM and the GT500 regulations. In 2019, uh, this, this car actually went on to win the championships. In 2020, the car that this is based on, which is the Tom's GT uh, Supra, came on second for the Drivers' Championship and second in the whole championship itself. And personally, looking at them, I think it's the best livery. I got a thing about this orange. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, if you want to see this car going around a track, there is a YouTube channel for it. I'll put a link in the description. Well worth a look. It's absolutely beautiful. Highly aggressive looking car. And I think they did an amazing job. Well worth watching. But I know what you thinking Gav you're not a big fan of TTO2s so why did you get it in well for me it was for the body set but don't let that put you off the only reason that I'm, I'm kind of well over TTO2s is just that I've built so many it's not that it's a bad chassis so if you haven't had a TTO2 it's definitely worth getting one don't forget though you will need to get your own bearings now let's open it up take a look and see what you get for your money and then I'll explain what I'm going to do with mine so it's basically an entry-level kit the layout inside is nothing special it's all just sort of stuffed into the body and uh, that's kind of how it just lays out now in this bag we've got ABC we've also got the torque tune motor now what else have we got in here uh, just some tools springs I think it's probably got friction shocks so you definitely want to be looking at upgrading them let's have a look see what we've got inside here this is the first time I've looked at it obviously you will need bearings because that's what you get you don't get any bearings whatsoever uh, springs and your allen key tool that is one of the arms this is for the body set I think oh no it's the screws and some pull ties for your electronics body clips torque tune motor which is something then we've got the pinion and the heat shield for the motor and some normal screws very simple kit there's all your diff gears plastic all the way through rims these rims as far as i know these are dedicated to this kit they're actually quite nice I do like those must admit then what have we got here the massive wing absolutely huge let's have a look it's got to be the biggest wing on a one tenth scale <laughs> look at that look at that put it into a curse effect look at the size of my hand <laughs> that is going to be brilliant it's going to look excellent definitely for a drift car for instance so uh, very impressive and i'm sure you could probably put this on quite a few different cars so that's probably one to get hold of and you got wing mirrors as well so that's probably a good tree to hunt out for doing your scratch built kind of stuff so i might actually grab one of those myself now one thing about this body is it's really detailed they actually give you the lights so really good and some canards that go on the front so it's really nice to see that kind of level then we have the 
ESC. Tamiya still struggling to produce their own ESCs. So this one is a Carlson, uh, Carlson ESC, and they're pretty decent. So it comes with a Deans connector, and then it gives you an adapter. Deans is much better if you're going to be running one tenth. The body itself, the wheel arches are cut out for you. So that's really nice. So cutting this out is super easy. Straight along there, straight along there. A little bit of work on the back to do. But apart from that, very easy to cut out. Long and swoopy. And they, Tamiya just keep, whoever works in the department for making the molds for these does an amazing job. It's probably one of Tamiya's best things. And this is a highly complex body, but it looks brilliant. What else have we got? Standard kind of TTO2 uh, brake disc uh, hex. Then we get the uprights, the, the gearbox diffs. Uh, then we get to the body, pretty standard stuff. Building this is really easy, simple to do. Basically, you've got the diffs that just drop in. You put the tops on, you put the arms on, and that's pretty much ready to go. Hundreds of upgrades for these. Um, so a good starters kit, foam bumper. Then we get bulkheads, front and rear arms, upper arms, friction shocks. Yeah, you, you probably want to try and hunt some oil shocks out for this. Otherwise, it's going to bounce around all over the place. So definitely bearings, definitely some oil shocks for it. Then we get our out drives and we get our prop shaft, plastic. These TTO2s do perform really well in basic form, but uh, the big one is definitely oil shocks. Then we get battery tray cover, pinion and um, spur gear cover. Then we get our motor mount. Lots of different options for different motors and pinions you want to put in here. Uh, the receiver cover. You can also put a fan on the motor as well if you like. And we get the standard sort of Tamiya tyres. Then we get our <laughs> massive great big set of decals. Yeah, that will keep you busy for a while. So obviously you kind of got to go box art with this because some of it is actually in the orange already. Make sure you get the right orange as well. Otherwise that's not going to work. That is a lot of decals. You And is there more? And more decals on the back as well. Oh my gosh. Then we have the window masks. Good to see we've got window masks, but look how many there are. You've got lights as well. Not too sure what that is. Is that bottom of the spoiler? Uh, something like that. I'm not sure what that is. Have to have a look. But uh, yeah, that's definitely going to keep you busy for a while. And that's pretty much all you get in the basic kit. But what am I doing with mine? Let's have a look. Now, if you've watched the show for a while, you know that I have this drift car that was gifted to me by Sven, and I've been waiting to put a body set on it. When I saw Tammy were going to release this, that's what I wanted to fit on it, and I knew it was the correct wheelbase, so it was the perfect choice for this car. And it really is. So the plan for me is I'm going to put this body on this car. And the rims that I've actually got are the right offset. So it's not going to look silly with the wheels being too far in or anything like that. These are adjustable rims as well. So I can really dial it in. So that is going to be what my drift first drift car is going to look like. I am going to go box art with it just because I really like it. So that's the plan. But I do have two body sets. This is not the body set that comes with this. So I have got a full kit still. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one don't ask me why I've got two uh, because I'm an idiot so I might end up building the whole kit with the TTO2 chassis or maybe I'll just sit on this for a while or maybe I'll take this body set and put it on a different chassis down the line I honestly don't know but being that these are quite reasonable price I thought I would grab one anyway as I just love this body. For me, this is gorgeous. So I thought, well, why not? The cost of having a body set and then buying the whole actual kit is not massively different. So they're quite good value. So that's my justifications, rightly or wrongly. So hopefully you're gonna see this one come on the show. I keep saying that and then I've got more and more projects. I know, I know, I must crack through some of the projects. So there you go. Comment below, let me know. Are you getting one of these? Are you just thinking about getting the body set? If if, if you've never had a TTO2, is this one that interests you? Comment below. See you soon. Bye-bye.